Welcome to Childhood Videos Vlog 3 of 2023. I, oh, this past week my back pain has been brutal and I've been tired. Um, excuse me. I've been so tired. Today I woke up and I had to run a, a quick errand in the city and then like on my way home I was like half falling asleep. And it's only noon now, so I'm, I'm almost home. Today is a full day. We have yard work to do during the day and then doing a Mother's Day thing for my mom tonight. And I need some energy. This is not gonna work. I don't have time to nap because I need to help my husband with yard work. So, I am going to stop in at Tim Hortons and get an ice cap. Ice caps is something that I ordered as a teenager a lot. Like a lot. That was my drink. That was the closest I would come to coffee is the ice cap. Um, but now, of course, I drink coffee. But it's time for an ice cap, I think. Hopefully there's enough caffeine in there to like boost me for the rest of the day. Right now, I'm in the mood to read some of these children's picture books. I just think it'll be a lot of fun, so I guess we'll just start. I'm going through this book, and this one wasn't uh, specifically from my childhood, but this Eloise Wilkin uh, artist. She did illustrate some books that my sisters and I had as kids. So as I'm going through this, I came upon this story. We like play school and like all of a sudden this entire story, not the words per se, but the images are very imprinted in my brain. And so I clearly have some kind of memory of this particular story. I'm wondering if we had it as um, uh, like a separate story, not as a part of this compilation book. But yeah, anyway, I just thought I would share that because especially these two images are very, very imprinted in my brain from being a kid, so I just thought that was cool. It is so beautiful today and I'm starting to feel a little bit better. So I'm going to come here at the back of our yard to my favorite spot in our yard where we have these trees. I've got some climbing systems here for exercise. So my hammock, my husband's hammock, our leaves, and then I'm gonna just drink my iced coffee, which is now just cold coffee because my ice melted. <laughs> I am using my iPad to record this clip so I don't know what kind of quality it's gonna be. But I just wanted to show you guys, I found these, uh, these are like sugar-coated gummy bears. But because they're like in this kind of packaging, I had to get it. Um, it doesn't, it's not a vintage snack or anything. It's just the way that the packaging is designed. Um, so I'm gonna have some of these. I actually really wanna like keep the packaging and do something with it because it's so cute. And I'm opening it from the bottom. Uh, I guess we'll see. They are a bit sour. Well, this one's a little wonky looking. They are a bit sour. And very sweet. Not my favorite. I found this at HomeSense. Which I think is like a... Um, is it like a TJ Maxx or a Ross? I'm trying to find a, like an American comparative company. Not sure if it's one of those. But anyway. Um, one of those stores that sells random things. So, if you ever see these, 
they're very sweet and sour. Mother's Day weekend is done now. We celebrated my mom on Saturday and my husband's mom on a Sunday. And yeah, it was a really nice weekend. So update on my fatigue. I had naps both on Saturday and Sunday, which is not like me at all. I don't nap. So yeah, it's a little disruptive of my life when I feel the need to nap during the day. Now I have just finished work and it's such a beautiful day. I'm so thankful to the Lord for giving us summer weather in the middle of May and even the beginning of May was like summer weather and I'm just so thankful for that. Today I do have to make a grocery stop because I'm all out of club soda and that is my drink of choice. I drink club soda every day. That is my source of water. Um, I don't drink soda, like regular soda or diet soda. I don't drink that. I just like club soda. Flavored is fine, and I can also drink non-flavored. Anyway, that's irrelevant. Um, I'm gonna go get some club soda, which is at the other end of the city, which is annoying, but I'm gonna go there. And then if I have energy, I might stop in at a thrift store to see if I can find any childhood stuff. Right now I feel excited about it, but yeah, we'll see how long I can uh, last. Do you guys remember when cereal boxes came with like prizes inside or toys or sometimes it was like a CD-ROM for like a computer game? It was so fun. Why don't they do that anymore? And I had Pop-Tarts sometimes when I was a kid, but this was always my favorite flavor. S'mores. I got what I needed from Superstore. It is the real Canadian Superstore, so it is a Canadian grocery store. But their, their whole, um, house brand is No Name, it's called No Name, and the, it seems like the marketing people only in the last few years have really like embraced the No Name thing, because the people on their social media and stuff are hilarious, because they just like really uh, play into No Name, so you guys, I'll show you a bit of footage here. Um, Anyway, I just think this is so funny and I love this marketing team. Anyway, I saw a new Powerade flavor. I don't normally drink Powerade. Like I told you guys, I don't really drink juice or pop, but this is melon pineapple and I am very, very thirsty. And I, I do have, like I made a home iced coffee and there is still water or ice in here, but I drank it all so I filled it up with water so it's like, it tastes a bit funny. It is nice and cold though. But this I wanted to try, melon pineapple. I don't taste any pineapple, it just tastes like melon, which is fine. Off to the thrift store. Time to see if I can find any vintage childhood things. Did any of you guys have like porcelain dolls? I had one and I showed it in a childhood vlog a childhood vlog a couple of years ago, so I will link that if you want to see the one that I have. I'm curious. I found a few older toys. So I found a Polly Pocket. 
I'm unsure. I think it's probably a new version, but because I don't have any of my old ones, I really want to get it. It's six bucks. I tried to peek inside to see, but I don't think the actual Polly Pocket is in there. And I'm pretty sure it's a new one, so I don't think I will get it, but I thought I would show this to you guys and see if you guys had Polly Pocket. And check out this Fuji camera. One of the film ones. It's quite heavy. I did not have this one, but I definitely did have a film camera. Hockey cards? I collected hockey cards definitely as a kid. I'm debating getting these. They're $4. I don't know. So far they don't look like new ones, so I am tempted. Stu Barnes rookie card. I am tempted. And do you guys remember these magnet letters? Colorful magnet letters? I definitely remember these. These days people don't tend to put like kids toys on their fridges, I feel like. I just wanted to show you this really vintage um, Oscar the Grouch toy. It's like... Um, it's not metal, actually pieces of it are metal, but it's definitely vintage. It's got that heavy feel to it and it's old and beat up and it's definitely vintage. You guys look, it's a hammerhead shark, a TY hammerhead shark. I don't think it's vintage. I think it's one of the newer ones, but it's a shark. So I have to get this. This bundle, I just wanted to show you guys for this guy. Do you, any of you guys recognize him? He was from the cartoon show Recess and I love that show but I don't think I want because I don't want any of the other ones and it's four dollars so I don't want him for four dollars if it was like the whole set I would totally get it then I have to show you guys these two and Getty's Beanie Babies oh I remember these when I was young definitely I think I had one but I totally remember these um, licensed and Getty's Beanie Baby Babies. This one's four dollars, this one's three dollars. I'm not gonna get them, but I just thought I would talk about them. I found a whole bundle of records. We don't have a record player, but after seeing this bundle, I sort of want to get a record player, so I might get some of these. Some of the ones that really interested me are the Disney ones, of course. And then the rest of this is all books. I cannot buy all of them, but I will have to go through them and see what I want to get. Check out this vintage Scotland Yard. I'm so tempted to get it, but it's not a two-player game, so it's a little bit hard for my husband and I to play. And we have friends that have this game, so I probably leave it here. But I just wanted to show you guys. Grabbing supper at Five Guys. Let me know if you guys enjoy a good Five Guys burger and fries. It's a beautiful 30 plus day today. It's so lovely. So I'm going to be eating my Five Guys outside. I always get their hot dogs. They're so good. The breading for the hot dog bun is so tasty. And then I just put the fries in a bowl because if you know Five Guys, they just shovel in fries in your bag. Like it's not really a precise measurement. So yeah, I love their fries and I love their hot dogs. Also in the comments below, let me know what you like on your hot dog. I like a pretty loaded hot dog, but no onions, of course. So what I get from Five Guys is always mayo, ketchup, mustard, pickles. Um, I would get cheese, but that's an extra cost. But I do like cheese on my hot dogs also. But definitely there has to be mayo, ketchup, mustard. That's how I love my hot dogs. I'm walking to my massage appointment and I'm passing one of my elementary schools. Update on this Powerade. Okay, so I was like loving it, I will say, but I drank it to about here and then I put some diet ginger ale in and it's amazing now. 
it's so so good so um you guys should definitely try this but mix it with you could do ginger ale or diet ginger ale whatever but then i highly recommend it so there are a lot of fires in alberta and bc i think mostly alberta i'm not really sure but today is a super smoky day and you can smell it and i mean i like the smell and the smoke doesn't bother me too bad but but i'm sad for all of the people that are fighting this fire and are fleeing their homes and everything because of the fires time to enjoy some pop tarts <laughs> This beautiful tree has bloomed. Oh, it's my favorite tree. It's so pretty. I wish these blooms lasted longer. I just arrived at another Value Village location. We only have two in our city, but this is the one that I usually have the best luck in for everything basically maybe not furniture but um yeah i'm not gonna shop for clothes but i just want to look through the kids toys and the kids books to see if there's anything that sparks any childhood memories so let's go i don't know if they still sell these Hilroy notebooks but um i definitely remember those and these Check out these vintage toys that I found. Let me know if any of you guys remember these. Okay, I definitely remember this kid's face, or this doll's face, I guess. There's a few different heads in here. Uh, I don't think I ever had one, but... It looks like there is a few doll sets in this bag, which is really cool. I'm just not interested in making a doll, but I did recognize this face. So let me know if you do too. And here's another bag full of doll sets with this same face. These have such vintage vibes to, to me anyway. I'm so tempted to get this, but I don't think I will, but I am tempted. Okay, let me know if any of you guys remember any of these. Something about this Cabbage Patch doll doesn't look right with this like child body. It should have a baby body. It looks funny to me. I haven't picked this book up since my live with Chantel. So let's see if I can get this finished tonight before I go to bed. I don't normally read before bed. So plus this is in first person. So we'll have to see how this goes, I guess. Hello, just at the beach with my friend Becca. We are having a little picnic. Um, I got my bagel and some fries. I got Subway. And she got Subway. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just gonna hang out here on the beach and read and chat. We haven't seen each other in quite a while, so it'll be good to catch up and eat and enjoy the sun. 
So that's what we're gonna do for the afternoon. Now I have to decide which book I should read. Becca, which book should I read? I'm in such a reading slump, I'm not sure. I might not be a quick picker. <laughs> <laughs> My friend Sabrina took me out for supper. <laughs> Looks delicious. 